Satnam and welcome. With today's practice, we are aiming at bringing all the chakras in alignment and activating the eighth chakra, which is the gateway of divine love and spiritual wisdom. We work on our auric field for protection and projection in this session. Gently bring yourself in easy pose with your legs crossed, placing the hands on top of your knees with the palms facing up and we take a deep long breath in through the nose and exhale out through the nose. Repeat for two more rounds, bringing the shoulders forwards up towards the ears and backwards and maintaining a nice lengthening of the spine. Bring the palms of the hands together, give them a good, good, good rub, generating some nice and healing energy and place it in front of the heart in prayer mudra. Take a deep long breath in and exhale out. Inhale through the nose, exhale out. Inhale, and we tune in with the opening mantra. Take a deep long breath in through the nose and hold the breath in while you're inviting your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice today away from injuries. Gently release the hands and place them on top of your knees. In Jang Mudra, index finger touches the thumb, allowing the vibrations of the opening mantra to settle in your body. We're tuning up through the seven chakras with a nice Sufi grind, bringing the hands on the knees, inhaling forward and around, exhaling backwards and around with a full breath through the nostrils. Bringing the awareness to Muladhara chakra at the base of the spine, which is our connection to the earth, our base. Steering the energy up to Svatisvana, to the sacral chakra, just below the belly button. Reflecting our creativity, our ability to enjoy life, to play with it, to show our sensuality and our sexuality. Activate that energy with each breath, with each movement. Coming up to Manipura chakra, just above the belly button at the solar plexus, which is the home of our personal power, our confidence, the self-belief. Moving up to Anahata Chakra now, to the heart chakra. Moving into those feelings of compassion, of forgiveness, of love, unconditional love, this witness in the heart, that kindness that we all have. Move up to Visuddha Chakra, the throat chakra, the ability to express ourselves, to voice our needs authentically and truthfully. Change direction now on the next inhale and we keep steering up the energy. Starting again from Muladhara Chakra, from Root Chakra, the base of the spine, steering, awakening all these points of energy placed along the spine. Moving through Svatisvana, Manipura, Anahata. Come back to the center now, take a deep long breath in, hold the breath in, Move that energy up through the Achinya, the third eye point, up to the crown of the head. Hold the breath in and exhale, release. Gently bringing the hands on top of your knees in Jang Mudra. Notice, witness what is happening.
we're activating our arc line with fists of anger squeezing the thumbs into fists and we're striking above our head while we doing a breath of fire through a o-shaped mouth keep the eyes closed gazing at the third eye point and off we go with a breath of fire o-shaped mouth the arc line is our halo is that circle of energy around the head that goes from one ear to the other one it's a very sensitive area very intuitive area of our auric field and we're just cleansing up removing any negativity any heavy energy that we might have from the arc line creating this expansive energy around our head tuning in with our intuitive mind and stop with your hands take a deep long breath in through the nose hold the breath in see imagine that energy rising from the tailbone up to the crown of the head and exhale release relax Why are you keeping the spine nice and tall, the shoulders away from the ears, chin slightly tucked in, take a deep long breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, one more time, inhale and exhale completely. And we are moving to the Kriya for the circumvent force, we're coming into all fours with the fists underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. From here we're stretching the left leg back as high as we can, curving the spine, dropping the belly down and we're going to go with a breath of fire through the nose. Lifting the leg as high as you can, squeezing the kidney, pointing the foot, keep breathing, keep lifting. Take a deep long breath in, hold it and gently release. And we're stretching the other leg as high as we can, curving the spine, gazing up at the ceiling and we go with a breath of fire through the nose, quick panting breath. Working on our auric field, on creating that expansive energy around our body. Keep breathing, keep lifting up. Take a deep breath in, hold it, squeeze it, and exhale, gently release and come sitting on your heels, stretching the arms forward. Breathe in and out. Just ground here through the third eye point on your mat, stretching the arms forward and sitting backwards on your heels, breathing in and out. Notice the ribcage expanding on your thighs. Relax. On the next inhale, bring in the hands next to your shoulders and on the exhale, gently lift yourself up. We're coming into a sitting position with the legs stretched, flexing the feet and you can hold on your thighs or on your knees, on your ankles or if available with the two piece fingers squeeze on your big toes, adjust through your sit bones, the spine is nice and tall. You can macro bend the knees if needed. On the inhale, we stretch up. On the exhale, we bend forward. Inhale up, exhale down. And with this motion, we're mentally vibrating, we're mentally chanting the mantra Wahe Guru. On Wahe, we stretch up nice and tall. On Guru, we fold forward. Keep moving, keep breathing. 
keep chanting Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Take a deep long breath in hold it there Exhale hold the posture and we repeat two more times Inhale hold it and exhale We come laying down, stretching wide, really releasing the entire body, allowing the earth to support you completely. And as we are working with the auric field, we want to stretch as wide as possible. And we start to inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Bringing to mind the mantra Satnam, truth is my name. On Sat, we bring the awareness on the root at the base of the spine, and on Nam, we bring the awareness at the Ajinya, the third eye. And as we are mentally vibrating Satnam, just imagine this golden light starting to generate around your body. And visualize this golden light growing stronger and brighter, projecting out through the body, bringing more clarity, more enlightenment and more radiance. Take a deep long breath in and bringing the knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice hug and rocking the body side to side. Hold it into the creases of the knees and rock back and forward until you come into bridge pose. The fingertips are facing the tailbone and we lift in the hips as high as we can, squeezing the glute, dropping the chin to the chest and we stay here with the breath fire through the nose. Take a deep long breath in, hold it, squeeze it, and gently release, relax down. And we repeat for one more time, this time a little bit shorter, for 30 seconds. Off we go, breath of fire. Giving a nice massage, a nice squeeze to the kidneys, releasing fear and stress, which is a real obstacle for our auric field. Keep lifting the hips up, keep breathing, face the challenge. Take a deep long breath in, hold it, squeeze it and gently release, relax and come back in easy pose with the hands in Jang Mudra on top of your knees, preparing for our Sitali breath. We are inhaling through a straw-shaped tongue or stretching that tongue out completely. So inhaling through the mouth and exhaling through the nose. It's a gentle and soothing Sitali breath. Great to cool down, to bring us back down from a heated nervous system. And it's also great in hot temperatures to cool the body down. Complete the last round of Sitali breath and take a deep long breath in through the nose, 
holding the breath in, squeezing the mouth on, and exhale completely. Be concluding our session with Mangala Chara Mantra, which we use to open our session. And it's the mantra that honors the Guru throughout the ages. And Guru means moving from darkness to light, moving from ignorance to wisdom. So we place the hands in prayer mudra in front of the heart with the thumbs to the sterno and we gently gazing at the middle fingers. And from here we're chanting Ad Kurename, projecting to the east. Jugat Kurename, projecting to the south. Sat Kurename, to the west. And Siri Guru Deve to the north. It's a very protective mantra for the auric field. Eyes fixed at the middle finger. Keep chanting. Take a deep, long breath in. Hold, squeeze everything in. Consolidate that energy and gently release, relax. Placing the hands on top of your knees in Jan Mudra. And we're coming to the floor for our Shavasana. Let go, release, relax. Gently starting to move your fingers and your toes. And on the next inhale, bringing the knees to the chest. Giving a good drop to the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands. And we're rocking back and forward and we come into easy pose, placing the hands in prayer mudra in front of the heart, preparing to conclude with our closing mantra, Satnam, truth is my name, inhale and exhale fully, inhale and we chant, Satnam, thank you for practicing with me and I'll see you next time.